other kitties. I'm Carrie, the vacuum chip witch. And it's the end of the year. And it's time for a little sum up of my channel and the projects going on. Let's start with the projects. <coughs> Looking at the project warm up uh, for, th for this year. I've got uh, a, a few finished projects. Uh, I also got a few ongoing projects that uh, that are still there. Got an almost finished project that uh, will be tested, I guess, today. Today or tomorrow. But uh, let's start with uh, what I was talking about um, in the project world map. First one was the UM3A uh, multimeter restoration. That one is done. The radioactivity lamp that's proudly hanging above my desk. It's, uh, you can't see it. Uh, you can see it. It's um, pretty much uh, away from any camera in the lab, but, but it's there and I can control it. The antique DC voltmeter restoration. Uh, I guess that was this one. Still gotta put it in some box and uh, make it useful in my lab, but, uh, but it is done. It's recombobulated. Looks pretty. The muzzle radio restoration, now that's an on ongoing project that um, I put a lot of work to, <laughs> to do and uh, the results, uh, I had more problems with it than, uh, than expected because I thought that uh, after all this recombobulation work I would uh, have it done and, um, and hear some uh, radio transmissions, but uh, it's not where I would like it to be, so I guess that I would have to put some more time into it and put some more work. Quite a daunting task. Hmm. VS1 vector scope, the one that uh, that uh, is uh, on the shelf, it's done, it's recombobulated, it's working, it's pretty nice. I like that one. So that one is uh, pretty much complete apart from uh, the clock module that uh, would need um, an ESP32. Capacitor leakage and uh, capacitor leakage tester and uh, reforming device. No, it's still in my hand. Lab power box with variac and dimbob tester. The one, the one right, uh, right there on the wall. But uh, it's empty. All that I did on, on it uh, was uh, making the holes and putting the voltmeter and ammeter in. Gotta, gotta gather some uh, materials for, uh, for building the thing. Fortunately, I've got a variac. Now, MTZVFDCLK, the multi time zone vacuum fluorescent display clock. Uh, uh, some progress was made uh, on um, getting the VFD up and running, but uh, not really that much. Uh, still got no enclosures for that project. Uh, also need to think about the logic. Uh, Fortunately, I've got the driver chips for the grids and uh, and the plates of the VFD. The carrymin, I thought I would be doing this one um, at the end of the year, but still a delay. Gotta 
gotta find some uh, sheet metal to to make the chassis and uh, I guess that uh, I would still have to buy some uh, trailed pentodes because this is gonna be a vacuum tube ferrament and uh, I got some uh, nice project from uh, Kainka Labs uh, that I would try to to work on and uh, maybe maybe make it better than uh, than it or originally was. Let's see. Now the Maya 1010. This project has been put on hold and. Uh, I will have to now that I've now that I have that uh, S1 uh, 112 uh, Soviet scope, I could uh, poke around uh, the output connector of the Maya 1010 to to determine the, the channel assignment uh, to to the pins on the output. Uh, or maybe input output connector but it's still gonna be a little bit tedious uh, not, I don't really need it that much so it's put on hold Studio development now that's a project uh, that uh, has seen a lot of progress from the cameras uh, that I'm uh, using now, then the stream cam uh, on the monitor and the C930 on the on the bench, to the microphones uh, got uh, got two Behringer C1U USB condenser mix. Those are pretty nice, and uh, I um, I switched to the. OBS setup uh, for recording and streaming and it does the job pretty nice this old uh, Moses uh, cheapest microphone it's not that good because um, the output level is very low but uh, I will keep using it uh, mostly for talking over discord from my laptop because uh, all the cameras and the, and the Behringer Mix, um, they are connected to the stream engine, the, um, the main computer that uh, I was also uh, also gonna mention this one because uh, it's also done. Uh, it actually uses the old the old uh, LGI uh, 1155 uh, motherboard um, that I got from my old lab and uh, the i7-2600K uh, uh, CPU pretty old generation but <laughs> that's uh, that's what uh, pulls the the recording and streaming process uh, in my lab. Hope it's uh, it's doing pretty okay. I put some more storage into it. Now the decent bench cam uh, that would be the C nine thirty. But uh, if uh, if I get some budget for the project, I would get a Razer Kio and then the C nine thirty would uh, second as the as the auxiliary bench cam for for viewing the oscilloscope and other test equipment because uh, when doing action on the bench, uh, I would like to be able to show you. What's going on on the scope? If I'm doing some testing, especially if I'm gonna do some uh, work on an amplifier, like uh, like measuring the output level or looking at the distortion, uh, like uh, like uh, checking the um, the output power, I would like to be able to to show you what's going on on the scope screen and uh, that's that's what the second bench cam would be for 
I would still have to change a few things uh, with the with the bench streaming setup uh, with uh, the USB ports in particular to avoid uh, some uh, resource conflicts. Uh, like uh, I can't, uh, I can't just uh, connect the. I can't uh, connect uh, two USB cameras to a single controller without, without them uh, getting in the way of each other. So I would have to run uh, another USB extension cord, all the way from the stream engine to the bench. Possibly with another hub, but uh, it's not strictly necessary to be able to use uh, two cameras over USB simultaneously. And uh, as for the progress on the channel itself, because that would be that would be the project roadmap, what has been done, what, uh, what still has to be done. As for the channel itself, it develops, uh, I would say, uh, rather nicely, because uh, chances are that uh, I'm gonna end the year with 300 subscribers on my channel, thanks to you all. And uh, the Patreon support uh, is also pretty nice now. No, thanks. Let's, uh, let me see at one moment, please. But uh, I uh, recently I got uh, an, uh, a hefty donation, uh, five, 50, 50 pounds, uh, 50 pounds turning from uh, Robert Jonasar. Thanks, uh, thanks a lot to you, Robert, um, because this is um, a very significant support, and uh, and it shows uh, it shows uh, your appreciation for for what I'm doing for my channel, and. Um, this is much uh, appreciated um, by me. This is gonna help me. This is gonna help me get a lot of things uh, going on, both uh, with the channel, with the lab, with my projects, uh, and also with my support for for other creators like EV Blog, like uh, like Curious Mark, Big Life, and of course Fran. I love your friend, and uh, and uh, Usagi Electric uh, as well. He also does uh, excellent content. Uh, that's uh, finally, finally, it's possible for me to support uh, support my uh, favorite creators and channels. Uh, the way I want them, uh, the way I want to support them. Thanks to you all. And uh, mentioning the, the videos themselves. One moment, please tell you what it's. Uh, let's take a look at the statistics. I'm I'm all doing it live with them. It is not edited, but uh, the the best uh, the best video that I consider that I have uh, done on my channel, and uh, it's uh, it's very popular for for the standards of uh, of my channel, given that uh, I released it uh, only in. In the beginning of uh, of uh, December, is the life changing experience uh, reviewing open circuits, uh, the the inner beauty of uh, electronic components, that magnificent book that um, I recommend um, to everyone doing electronics, and uh, that one got. 
520 views given that uh, it hasn't been even uh, a month uh, it's really good I also uh, went to greater lengths uh, in order to promote the video another pretty popular uh, maybe even more popular video than uh, than uh, open sockets given that I uh, I made it uh, right uh, this week uh, 27th of uh, of December so uh, it's been like three days it it has been around um, the AC1 uh, audio computer overview with uh, with my project with uh, with the uh, hi-fi control system that I built uh, it's got uh, 400 views that would be 95% uh, uh, upvotes on this one all this while the open circuits would be 100% uh, most of my videos uh, are 100% but uh, yeah sometimes I got uh, I got 85 uh, and uh, then the short one uh, relatively short one uh, with uh, Nixitube unboxing that got uh, released uh, on uh, on uh, Christmas Eve it got uh, 211 views not that much <coughs> then the Selectric 3 unboxing uh, not that popular 153 on uh, 15 of of, uh, of December what uh, what really gets this channel going and uh, what I intend to um, to keep up uh, to carry on <laughs> doing is uh, is the live streams uh, going for for a uh, live stream uh, every weekend uh, but uh, I'm not sure that I will be doing them. Uh, at uh, midnight local time that would be um, 23 hours uh, UTC or GMT I will probably do them on Sundays uh, at something like uh, at something like uh, 19 hours uh, UTC might not be the optimal time uh, especially for my American viewers but uh, it's uh, it's just a um, matter of uh, of doing things in my life because I'm applying for a job um, in uh, electronic engineering now um, I'm not really sure I will get the job because uh, the problem is that uh, first uh, the company would like me to shut down Caritech uh, and uh, the way I see it uh, is that uh, the, the profile the, of the company what they are doing like uh, some advanced uh, electronics some modern stuff uh, embedded systems uh, that kind of uh, that kind of thing uh, it's uh, it's vastly different than uh, what i am doing here like vintage restoration like um, like uh, audio electronics uh, amplifiers uh, some fun projects stir downs uh, chewing rags about stuff uh, so um, there is no risk of uh, leaking any any confidential uh, information because um, that's what they uh, are afraid of and uh, even i don't see a way of uh, using what i would potentially have uh, have ac to access to um, working there in, in my work here
it's uh, it's completely different like uh, but yeah then that's the problem with the lawyer droids like uh, engineers um, can perfectly understand uh, talking with engineers on uh, engineering uh, on technology on electronics uh, we got get on pretty well but uh, but then um, talking with the management uh, stuff um, and uh, and lawyers and s yeah, meh. <coughs> and if I don't get that job, then maybe I will try uh, looking for work in uh, some smaller companies. Like maybe I'm not that. Uh, Maybe I'm not cut for being a professional, maybe I will have to stay doing repairs and, uh, and doing projects in my lab. Maybe promote it, maybe if I, um, if I ever learn some promotion skills, then maybe just um, do it as a business. Or maybe I should do something different. Maybe I should learn sewing. Who knows? But uh, I will still do electronics. I, um, I'm not burnt out um, doing the work in electronics. Uh, and uh, even though the, I had one moment of uh, of burnout and uh, asking myself uh, questions um, whether I should still do the YouTube thing because uh, because I was just uh, noticing uh, it was seemingly going nowhere and uh, and then uh, I got some uh, I got some advice from uh, Usagi Electric. Uh, about uh, about thumbnails, tried to step up my game, and uh, and make the the thing better, and uh, I think that uh, I got some success. Uh, I try not to beat myself up uh, when it comes to when it comes to to stats, um, like. Uh, I'm just uh, sometimes I'm uh, I'm just too envious of uh, of others who who are doing better. Not how. I do what I do. I do me. I carry on, and I will carry on. Fuck the commercial thing. Like, I'm a punk girl. I uh, I will carry on. I will do my thing. I will be me and uh, and uh, just do my stuff. Uh, I'm a rebel at heart. Might be a burnt out rebel, but once a rebel, I'm always a rebel. I've been an anarchist since uh, since my high school. I've been a punker. I've been a free spirit. Might not get on well with um, with the whole society and and business uh, thing, but I'm always uh, I'm always looking for doing alternative ways, uh, doing the stuff uh, in uh, alternative ways, like. Like when life gives you lemons, don't make that fucking lemonade. Sometimes you gotta get mad. You, you. Sometimes you gotta tell life to take the lemons back. <laughs> Only don't burn anyone, anyone's house down because this is the road into trouble. <laughs> will be ups and downs both on both on my channel and in my life in my work it's still important to carry on 
at least uh, I got a community that uh, appreciates me both here on YouTube and uh, and on Discord and uh, in real life, like um, like in the local hacker space, uh, I'm uh, I've got the, the reputation of uh, someone who gets shit done, who can who can repair everything, almost everything, because uh, some things um, are irreparable. But still. <laughs> I joined um, the Hackerspace Pomoja uh, almost, uh, maybe not almost, but uh, over a year ago. The first thing I did there was fixing a two-channel uh, analog oscilloscope. <laughs> mm, quite a nice start. And I'm proud of that. There are things I am proud of. My life uh, does not look good on paper, but I think it will look good on uh, in stories. And uh, if someone can appreciate that and uh, want to cooperate with me, I will appreciate that uh, on my side. So maybe it's not all lost. Yeah. Got some more work to do on on the SC84LJ, the, um, the Red Devil amplifier. That's right. Back there on the sideband. Let's, uh, let's just switch the view to the bench and I will show it to you. And of course the Selectric. The Selectric... Uh, Repairing this one, this is gonna be my Opus Magnum and uh, repairing the Semtron uh, calculator. That was an uh, unexpected project and uh, I would uh, I would call it uh, my uh, Curious Mark great project. Uh, for me, quite a daunting task. Uh, taking a deep dive uh, into Antique electronics into early germanium, uh, discrete germanium, uh, diode transistor logic, and the ferrite core memory, and and all those fifteen lovely nixies. Uh, I'm so fond of getting that calculator to go. It's gonna take some time, it's gonna take some work, it's gonna take uh, a lot of perseverance to get into the, um, the technical um, data and documentation. Study the, the way it is built, uh, the way it works, uh, the way it was designed. Because uh, it is in itself the, the thing of beauty and enjoy forever. And I I could say that uh, modern electronics engineers I think that uh, few of them would be willing to take that task. So I could be proud of that one. Let's get things going. Time for the new year. The new projects carry on with the ongoing projects. Let's get some shit done. And like I promised, to the band. So here we are. And the Red Devil. Let me bring the Red Devil. So many cables. It's a little bit discombobulated right now. 
and to what I was working on. And this is the control module for the motorized potentiometer on uh, on this amp. If you if you take a closer look here, we've got an Alps uh, potentiometer that uh, is controlled uh, with this wire. And my customer's uh, wish was to use a uh, remote control for for uh, controlling the volume and also for switching uh, between the RCA input and a uh, Bluetooth interface. And this is the Bluetooth interface. This is the microcontroller and an 80 tiny 45 the signal relay and uh, the motor driver and uh, I just finished uh, making this module I uh, loaded the microcontroller dump uh, into the microcontroller. I will have to test this uh, very module. It's uh, it's done on uh, perf board because um, this is uh, one off and uh, I don't have uh, tools uh, in my lab to make uh, printed circuit boards. Uh, I don't have the chemicals. Uh, I would have to go over to my friend uh, Alana to have it done, but uh, I'm pretty fine with uh, with doing uh, one-off projects on uh, perf boards. Then that's uh, how I've done it for years. Though some more industrial quality projects like the Airpy to caster especially projects um, that I'm uh, doing in, uh, in runs uh, of, uh, of a few pieces. Uh, I design a uh, printed board for that. Let's go back. And uh, this uh, this one I would I would like to um, finish uh, this amplifier today. At uh, at some point uh, I was doing tests on uh, this amplifier. It uh, it gave me very little output power, something like uh, like one watt, and uh, turned out that. Uh, then the tubes I was uh, doing the tests on, then the tubes for my from my uh, customer, they were almost dead. Like um, like the transconductance uh, and uh, the plate current, um, it got uh, so low that uh, those tubes were virtually useless. Uh, so I will have to um, repeat the test uh, with known good uh, tubes that I measured with uh, with my um, P5229 uh, vacuum tube tester. It's uh, it's doing a pretty good job of um, of uh, testing the tubes in my lab. And. Uh, after uh, after I know that. Um, the control and uh, Bluetooth uh, board uh, is working and uh, and I can uh, get it to work with uh, any remote control. It's gonna get shipped. It's gonna get uh, shipped out to the customer. One project done. So. Without further ado, have a happy new year, you all, thanks to you, thanks for supporting me, 
Thanks for watching my videos. Much appreciated. Bye.